Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and the following humanities passage question is asking about the meaning of a sentence. They're giving you the line numbers, so fairly easy to find here. Uh, much is published, but little printed. Let's read a sentence before and after to figure out what's going on. Now, this is the first uh, paragraph, since it's an intro. We don't need to worry about topic sentences here. There's not going to be any of that. All right, well, oh, the sentence before would be the first, anyhow. While we are confined to books, though the most select and classic and read only particular written language, uh, languages, which are themselves but dialects in provincial, we are in danger of forgetting the language which all things and events speak, without metaphor, which alone is copious and standard. Uh, okay, so we're saying that a lot of people, when they study, um, you know, traditional subjects, are studying things that um, are a little bit short-sighted, and they're missing the bigger picture of something that is way more important for every person that would ever study anything, uh, not just the things that you tend to study in school in, I guess, the West, I'm assuming, this is 1854 in uh, America. Let's go ahead and read on. Much is published, but little printed. Okay, here we go, there's that sentence. So what might that mean? Um, well, if we're missing the big picture and we're only looking uh, at certain things, we're looking at that which is published and not at that which is printed, um, it seems like we are taking the end product and forgetting what went into creating it, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and read on that next sentence just to be sure. The rays which stream through the shutter will be no longer remembered when the shutter is wholly removed. Okay, so now we're saying uh, maybe we're, we're looking too much at the outcome and not the process. Uh, and then the we will forget about certain things about the world that seem obvious to us now, maybe, once the mediums we use go away, some, something like that. So what we're talking about is we're, we're not paying attention to the things that actually matter. Go ahead and take a look at this. Thoreau's disdain for the bloom of the present moment. Uh, well, I, don't, I wouldn't say that we're going to disdain the present moment here. We're definitely, if all we care about is what's published and not printed, uh, it looks like we really should be caring about things that are going on around us. Uh, so, no. Especially after this, this shutter thing here. That doesn't make sense. The scarcity of historical, philosophical, and poetry books in Thoreau's town. It doesn't seem like there's a scarcity. It seems like there's a, a lot. Um, you know, it says we as though everybody here was confined to books. So, a lot of people have them. Um, and whether or not they're historical, philosophical, and poetry. I guess he doesn't really care about those things. Um because the most select and classic even are not are missing the point about something important the fleeting nature of experience that must be appreciated in the moment um this looks good so uh we care too much about what's published but not about what's being printed so uh, it looks like we are putting way too much emphasis on the outcome and not so much on what's going on right now uh, this this looks a good answer choice. Potentially that's what he meant. Let's go ahead and read the last the movement of sunlight throughout the movement of sunlight throughout the day. Um, okay, well that would make a lot more sense maybe if we're considering the rays which stream through the shutter, but not quite the point of um, little is public uh, much is published but little is printed. That makes C the best answer choice. I hope that helps this problem and happy project.